we're going to create this in After Effects. All right, the first thing you'll be needing is to shoot the video. Actually, pretend as if I was catching the drone and I grab the drone in the second shot and do the exact same thing. So what you'll be needing for this tutorial is a screen recording of generative AI from Photoshop and a screen recording of your iPhone keyboard and a DJI logo and some screenshot from DJI.com for Mavic Pro. We'll also be using two types of tracking in this video so I suggest you to stick till the end of the video. Let's jump inside After Effects and let me show you exactly how I assembled everything together. Let's go. So here I am in After Effects. I'm gonna scrub through the timeline and I'm gonna trim it here. Select the footage and I'm gonna select Control Shift and D. And I'm gonna scrub even more further. And after I grab the drone, I'm gonna set it here. And I'm gonna trim this by holding down Alt and left square bracket. Select this and stitch it together. All right, I'm gonna lower the opacity of the first layer and I'm gonna try to match the hand. You can select the footage and move it around in the timeline and try to match it roughly like what I'm doing here. After that, you can go back and trim the layer again. Set the opacity to 100%. Duplicate this layer, Control D, and rename it to Drone Still. And I'm gonna change the color of the layer to red. And I'm gonna stretch this, go back and find a sweet spot where the drone is completely visible. Right click, time, and freeze frame. And I'm gonna cut out the drone using the pen tool. After that, we're gonna animate the position of the drone. So set a position here and go back a few frames and we're gonna move this drone up like this. And right now you can see that the drone is still visible. So we're gonna trim that. Hold down Alt and close square bracket and trim it exactly at this point so that the drone is there. Make sure you turn on the motion blur for the layer and for the composition as well. So that makes it much more realistic than before. Okay, that's perfect. All right, let's go ahead and rename the layers. Let's rename this hand and the other one to final. And we're gonna grab the hand, Control D to duplicate, move it up and we're gonna rename this roto, uh, hand roto. And we're gonna roto out the hand. Once you're done with the roto selection, check this motion blur and increase the feather to maybe eight and hit this freeze button and wait for After Effects to do its thing. Once it's done, close this roto out and select this hand and track the camera. Once the tracking is done, select these tracking points in the screen and right click create solid and camera and shut off the eye for the solid layer because we don't need it all right now that we have the tracking information we're going to import this keyboard screen recording inside the composition so i'm going to drag and drop this just below the hand roto make this a 3d layer i'm also going to scale it down and reposition it in the screen so that it looks like I'm typing the keyboard, okay? All right, I'm going to animate the scale, set a keyframe, go few frames, and I'm gonna set the scale to zero. Select all the keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease, go to the graph and change the graph to something like what I'm doing here. Also, don't forget to turn on the motion blur. All right, I'm going to do the exact same thing with this generative AI. Drag and drop it, make this a 3D layer, I can scale it up and move it around wherever I want. And also I'm going to animate it in the exact same position. This time I'm gonna animate the scale and rotation. Scale and Y rotation, set a keyframe, go few frames and set this Y to one and a scale to zero. 
select all the keyframes right click keyframe assistant easy ease and we're gonna do the same make sure to turn on the motion blur that's very very important duplicate this layer twice select the last layer and make this an adjustment layer and add a gaussian blur on this layer set the blur values to 30 set this blending mode to screen or lighten depending on what you want decrease the opacity to 50 and add a luma key effect on the first layer and set this threshold to around 80 You'll have to do the same for the keyboard layer except for the luma key values you'll have to play around with that values and see what you're happy with all right select this final layer Control d to duplicate and trim this here and i'm going to rename this tracking track layer and track motion and we're gonna put this track point somewhere here and we're gonna analyze forward and we're gonna wait for after effects all right, once it's done, create a new null object and we're going to rename this null to tracking info and we're going to trim this to the length of the clip and change the color of the layer. Selecting on the layer, edit target and we're going to set this to tracking info, OK, apply and OK. Now that we have the tracking information, we're going to use this DJI logo, drag and drop it make this a 3d layer and scale it down and you can also reposition it in the desired position here and parent it to the tracking information offset the timing and we're going to animate the position and rotation hit p shift and r set a keyframe for the position and y move backwards set the position up and y to 1 and select all the keyframes right click keyframe assistant easy ease go to the graph and we're going to change the graph once again like this and also don't forget to turn on the motion blur and you can keep on adding some assets like what i'm doing here you can just do the exact thing you can drag and drop it in the timeline and parent it to the tracking information and you can animate the position and rotation for as many video assets that you have Lastly, you can add an adjustment layer, layer new and adjustment layer and add an effect called optics compensation. Check this reverse lens distortion and increase the FOV and we're going to animate this view center. I'll add a little expression, hold down alt on the keyboard and click on this view center and add a wiggle expression, wiggle and you can add your own values i'm going for 5 comma 20 and you'll have that i hope you like this video make sure to watch this next video for more after effects tutorials this is motion designer and i will see you in my next video take care